And then every time a religious crowd gets together, they're talking about his church. Well, let them talk about the devil's church. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ is just like she was the day he founded it. Amen. He said the gates of hell shall not prevail against my church. And his church today is like an army with banners as bright as the sun and as terrible as a marching army. Let me tell you, his church is the same. Not anything wrong with God's church. Not anything wrong with God's children today. God has some of the salt of the earth in his local assemblies today. I'm sick and tired of all this criticizing and saying the church is not relevant and the King James 1611 Bible's not relevant. That modern man can't understand it. Modern man doesn't want to understand it. He doesn't want the prophet of God sticking his finger in his face and say, you are the man, you're going to hell. Man doesn't want that. He doesn't want to be told of his sins. He doesn't want to be told he's immoral and degenerate and unrighteous. He wants to go ahead in his immorality and his sins. And this Bible is like a sword. It's like a, it's like a storm. It'll break in pieces. And my friends, I stand for this book. When God says it, that's it. Fear fell upon these people, and the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. But it's more than that. Notice verse 18, many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. We need some people to believe something. Fellow, the other day I was talking to him, said, well, now I don't know whether you can believe that or not. You just don't know whether that's the Bible or not. Well, let me tell you something, my friend. It is the Bible. It stood the test of time. It is the Word of God. It doesn't contain the Word of God. It is the Word of God. And if you believe it, you know what will happen when you believe it? There's going to be some confessions. If we confess and forsake our sins, we'll find mercy. Amen. 